right, guys, so I told you in the last video that getting to level 25 is the big deal to becoming an intermediate player, and I still stand by that, but what is actually maybe the bigger deal is getting to castle level six and upgrading at least one set of every workbench to level four. You gotta get to castle level six to get your workbenches up to level four, and that's when you're starting to process a lot of intermediate things. But in order to do that, you have to do a lot of these like yellow zones. So this is the harder of the yellow zones and um, you have to get a lot of these yellow zone resources. So that's why level 25 is so important. It gives you that bow, um, which um, kind of basically, whoa, is that a patrolling? All right, so we are, this is, the bow is amazing, right? Come on. Nice. And we need to get past that fence to get all of the resources. Ooh. Now I do have a steel ax, which I'm excited about using. Wow, that steel axe annihilated that tree so fast. I, I don't know if I realized that that... Oh, no. So I don't really want to mess with these guys if I don't have to. I don't have a veteran sword. Veteran sword happens at level 28 or 38. Might kill some of these guys. Let me be honest. I, I don't really want to spend all my time clearing these guys. I just want to get the ash logs. There we go. There's that dog. We're going to have to kill this dog. No! What in the world? Alright. I killed the dogs because uh, I hate those dogs. I hate those dogs and it's hard to one shot them with the bow. Also, you'll notice I'm using some legendary devil daggers. I got those from being a beta tester. Uh, they're actually not that good. Um, in fact, I would argue that they're worse than a veteran sword or, or even worse than a heavy sword in some ways. And the reason I would argue that, oh no, is because they don't have that great of damage especially for a legendary, but to heal a legendary weapon, to, to repair a legendary weapon is unbelievably expensive. And so it's just not worth it. So um, it doesn't even have the sneak attack damage. I think it has the sneak attack damage of a veteran sword. So you can see this bow makes a huge difference um when you're when you're working with these guys um because you can you you can it's so much easier to sneak through everything so we're just gonna go around take these guys out chop down the trees we're getting quite a bit of ash from doing this quite a bit. All right, I'm eating some food. So in order to kill this guy, all right, let's kill all the little peripherals. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to get this guy to miss me. Then he uses his skill. Oh, 
Okay, got the little guy. So now, in order... Oh my gosh, okay. That was bad. So you can't let that guy hit you at all. And I let him hit me, which sucks. But, oh well. I let him hit me, I wasn't quick enough. While we're here, we're gonna go ahead and get some cotton. Drop this down and try to sneak up on this guy. Cannot let this guy hit us. There we go. He misses. All right. Let him miss. So as long as he keeps missing, we're okay. <gasps> Dang it. You see that? 200, one hit. Two hundred, one hit. I gotta stop letting him hit me. All right, we got him. Whew. All right. Yeah, not pretty. But we did kill him. Now we have access to all these ash logs that are around. So we'll go ahead and do that. There's a lot of that opened up a lot of trees. Ooh, some ash planks, glue, tallow, some good stuff there. So you can see this zone getting ash is easier than getting granite. I wish I had brought a pickaxe because honestly, it would have been amazing. Bringing a pickaxe would have um, I would have been able to get some granite. So basically, I mean these these weapons are not bad. I, I don't I didn't want to make it sound like I was like, oh they suck because they you know they're not bad. But you just have to factor in that they're legendary. So legendary weapons are And not shoot through the door. There we go. There we go. All right. Uh, legendary weapons are horrible in when it comes to repairing. So. Oh, she's dead. Let's so get this. So you just kind of want to, in my opinion, you just want to let them break. I mean, I, I'm not going to try to even heal this thing at all. the cellar which I am not gonna go into because if you guys know anything about yellow zones they are a lot harder ah! and the that part of the tomb part of it is even harder so we are not gonna go there honestly I have very low health uh, I need to be careful I want to get these ash trees but I just don't think that I can so I did get 30 ash which is pretty amazing, but <gasps> no, I just aggroed a ton of people. I've got to get out of here quick. Ah, okay. That dog saw me. He activated a ton of people. I only have 300 health. We're getting out of here. 30 ash might be enough to get me what I want. I already had quite a bit of ash. You know, I got some good stuff. It's not the best, but it's okay. 
So let's run back to the castle. Let's see if it's enough. Hopefully it is. All right, we're here. And yes, we have enough. So you see a lot of ashes required, a lot of granite. Uh, I already showed you guys how to get granite. We're actually running pretty low on wax, but there we go. So upgrade. We are now castle level six. That is a huge deal. Uh, let me show you why. So for example, if we're gonna upgrade this, it needed to be castle level six to be able to do this. Now we can grow cotton and beans, okay? That beans, y'all saw how much healing that bean porridge did. So we need to go get some more ash, but once I do, I'll be able to start uh, making cotton and beans. Now that by itself isn't gonna do anything because I also need to upgrade this. But once I do, again, needing more ash and gonna run out of granite here soon, um, then I can start creating that bean porridge. And beans, I've already got a lot of beans. You get a lot of beans when doing the yellow zone and that bean porridge does 210 healing versus like meat does 60. It's a lot more healing. All right, and then after that, we've got the carpenter's workbench, which as you can guess, you are able to make ash planks. Uh, looks like I'm running out of candles. That's easy, I can get those at the green zone. Um, all of these things require ash. All of these things require granite to get, but once you get ash planks, that's gonna let you, honestly, the ash planks is not that important. I mean, it's important for upgrading. It is part of advancing but um, it doesn't help you necessarily play the game better. And the same thing for uh, being able to do grand blocks, you know. Um, it's not gonna help you play the game better, but it is going to um, help you advance bigger workbenches, you know, kind of the whole thing. Steel bars is going to help you, and the reason for that is because when you hit level 38, you are going to want to build the veteran swords best maybe the best item in there and i lied the ash planks are required for that so um so yeah getting getting the ash planks getting that steel bar um is going to be amazing and then you will have to purify lead which i don't know if you can actually craft purified lead um yeah so you can make some steel plates uh, when you upgrade this, which we're not there yet. Leather working uh, allows you to build cotton rope and hide. That's going to get you some better gear. Uh, but you can see here that once you get to here, you're going to start needing some granite blocks and some steel bars. So they all kind of lean into each other. Um, but once you get everything to level four, all of these things, except these, these, these you don't need to get. You just need to get to level two to get this next one and then level four here. But I have a feeling to get a level four on this, you're gonna need a higher castle level. Um, those, they, they work on a different scale. The alchemist and herbalist shot, but everything else, um, you can see I have it all to level three. It was waiting on castle level six to upgrade it. I couldn't get it to four. Getting it to four is gonna just allow me to process all the next tier. So getting to level 25 was huge because it allowed me, you, you saw how much easier it was to do that zone, how much easier it was to sneak, get those sneak attacks. But now my goal is to get enough ash and granite to level up all of these level threes you see to a level four. And once I get all of them to level four, um, here we go. You can see you can make cotton cloth from cotton, make cotton yarn as well. You get to do both of those when it hits level four. Just it's a, it's a big step. So level 25 was a big step to getting, you know, because you get the bow, it allows you to functionally do the yellow zones easier, much easier for pretty cheap and, and just use the iron to repair those bows. But now you have to actually get those materials, upgrade everything to level four, and then that's gonna allow you to do all the next tier of items. And uh, the biggest one, of course, being the veteran sword at 38, that makes a big difference. And then uh, eventually you will get to, you know, level 46 where you will be able to build the legionnaire's bow. And that's going to be kind of like the hunting bow's next step. You're going to be able to have that, um, you know, pretty much the same thing as a veteran sword, but as a bow, that kind of sneak attack. Um, it's insane. Now, 
keep in mind with the with the veteran sword you do have the fiery onslaught which is an instant cone of death it does a crazy amount of damage um it's it's really good for taking out a big group of that's like maybe you activated maybe you can't help it there's you activated a big group um to be able to run target that cone you can take out you know 20 guys in one swoop you know whereas the pier the piercing shot honestly i don't know i i haven't used the piercing shot a whole lot and so it may just take out a huge group as well if you have a long line of people chasing you but i'm i'm not as confident on that um but i do know that the legionnaire's bow will be really good for getting those sneak attacks um but and, and it's not that crazy you know you're gonna need bowstring which you get in the yellow zones uh, but you also have a long way to go you're gonna do a lot of yellow zones before you hit level 46 and so um, you're probably gonna have a lot of bowstring, just like we, we have quite a bit of sinew. I'm not even using it all because I'm trying to use makeshift hammers to repair, but eventually you'll be able to make that bowstring. And yeah, that's gonna make a big deal, obviously. And then, and then once you get the Legionnaire's bow, that's kind of the first step to getting um, into advanced gameplay in this game because that's gonna allow you to start doing red zones and getting those sneak attacks um, and then you'll eventually hit 64 where you'll start. Actually, that's not as good as I thought it was. Oh, the head taker, that's right. So you'll start doing the red zones, then you'll be able to do the head taker. And the head taker is the equivalent of the veteran sword for the advance. So I don't know if that makes sense. Basically, the heavy sword is is your first good sneak attack weapon. That was, that was for beginner, to make it easier to be a beginner. Uh, the hunting bow is your first step into being an intermediate player um, because you can do the yellow zones much easier. The veteran sword kind of makes it easier to be an intermediate player. Really kind of takes the edge off of that. Um, and then the legionnaire's bow is that first step into becoming an advanced player. And then the head taker just makes it easier to be an advanced player. And then eventually you'll be able to do the orcish long bow which is, you know, insane damage. I think it's gonna make doing, honestly, I think that probably they're gonna add new zones one day and that's gonna be that step. If, you, if you've got an Orcish Longbow, I mean, the game should be pretty easy uh, for you at that point. Like it should be, you know, you're gonna have to repair it and stuff, but getting, getting that Orcish Longbow is kind of like a, I have arrived in craft of survival that's for strength based characters which is what i highly recommend if you're magic you're gonna have to follow a whole new line and i know that the devs are working on making it easier for magic people but right now strength is the way to go for pve all right guys i'll see you next time